The ancient people were already making their mark on the landscape, clearing spaces within the woodland where animals could graze. They also made their mark on the land in stone. There are many stone rows, stone circles and stone settings all over Exmoor, which are thought to date from the end of the Neolithic period, around 4,000 years ago. You'll see many of them marked on the Explorer map. Some are easy to visit, others you'll need to look quite hard to find. The largest and most striking is the Long Stone. At nine foot high, this single stone dominates the landscape. It's a walk to get to it, but worth the effort. The stones may have been monuments, places of ritual, perhaps simply boundary markers. We do know these stones were put there by our ancestors, but to this day, we still don't know exactly why. The construction of the earliest earthwork sites also began during this time in the form of barrows and cairns used for human burial. These occur nearly everywhere on Exmoor. There are almost 400 of them. You can walk among them and imagine what you might have seen around you 4,000 years ago. Across Exmoor today, you'll see field systems, hedgerows and boundaries, and while most of what you see was developed later, it was the original hunter-gatherers who first began to form small settlements and manage the land around them, clearing forest to provide room for cultivation and animal herds. Fragments of ancient fields have been found, as well as traces of roundhouses dating back from 3,000 years ago, the Bronze Age. This was, for Britain, the dawn of civilization.